you need to get into action because it, even if you don't know whether it's it's the right action action creates momentum and then what happens is as you start to take action you'll notice you're getting some feedback um, so that feedback means that you're going to then be able to course correct and it's much easier to move a ship that is moving in the wrong direction than a ship that's not standing at all so it's really important just to start taking action so we see so many people who miss the opportunity because they are either thinking or they're hesitating or they're waiting until everything is absolutely perfect um, before they actually start taking action so what I'm saying here is you just need to take any action doesn't matter if it's wrong action if it's the wrong action then you're going to get feedback and you that's the other thing you want to pay attention to, to that feedback because you then just start then course correcting and it's only through action that you get to um, just to course correct and what's happening here is because everything that you want is outside your comfort zone and we're saying you want to start taking action towards things that make you feel very uncomfortable what's going to happen at that point in time is stuff is going to come up for you there's going to be fear potential um, frustration overwhelm I don't know whatever negative emotion it is it's going to start to rear its head and that's what we want and rather than tucking that fear underneath the carpet or tucking that that overwhelm letting that that take over you we actually want you to step through it because as soon as you step through that and you let go of that um, energy, there's like a huge release of energy that was being used, um, was stuck basically because of that, that fear that you can then move and put into um, other things to create, to, to, to create. And that's why taking action is so important. Um, but not just taking action and, ignoring the feedback taking action then course correcting 